Hey YouTube, Ed here with Jack of All Trades and welcome to another video. Have you ever been in the store buying batteries and wondered if buying the expensive name brand batteries are actually worth it or if the store brand batteries would be good enough? Well, that's what we're gonna find out today. I have got 10 different brands of batteries here, name brand and store brand. We're gonna test them and see which one gives you the biggest bang for your buck. Stay tuned and let's test some batteries. And welcome back. So yes, today I've got 10 different brands of batteries. We're gonna see which ones are really the best, if the cheap ones are good enough or that the expensive ones are really worth it. But before we do that, as per usual, I gotta beg you to hit that like and subscribe button down below. I don't ever ask you for any other kind of support, no money, no nothing like that. Likes, subscribes, and comments do help the algorithms with YouTube. And it helps me to go out and do things like buy $200 worth of batteries so I can test them so you can have the information. I would really appreciate the support. I'll never ask you for anything else. And then hit me with all those comments that you can. I really like interacting with all of my subscribers and viewers through the comments. Enough of that. What are we gonna do today? So I ran around town today and I picked up 10 different brands of batteries, some store brand, some name brand. I have got three flashlights that we're gonna use exclusively for this testing. And I've got a stopwatch. We're gonna literally load up some batteries here and we're gonna see how long these flashlights run with each brand of battery to see which one lasts the longest and see which one gives you the biggest bang for your buck. So let's go ahead and let's talk about the breakdown first. I'll tell you where I bought all of these batteries. I'll tell you what each one costs per package and per unit price, and then we'll go and get into the testing. All right, let's just take a quick moment and let's discuss uh, how I came up with the math and what I did here. So I went and I bought D, AA, and AAA batteries. I did the math of the number of batteries per package, the cost per package, and came up with a per battery cost uh, of each battery in the package. And then I averaged the three sizes together just to come up with a number, which was $1.66 average per cost of each battery, which was what Duracell came up with and was the most expensive in the grouping. Energizer came up to be the second most expensive with an average cost of $1.60 per battery. EverReady was the third most expensive battery in the grouping at $1.31 average cost per battery. Rayovac was the ne next most expensive at an average cost of $1.21 per battery. All right, now we start getting into the store brands and the first store brand was also the uh, most expensive store brand, which was the Up and Up brand of battery, which is made by Target or sold by Target. And it came in at $1.16 per battery average. The next store brand battery is by Dollar General and it's the Generate brand. And it came in at $1.04 per battery average. Thunderbolt Edge is sold by Harbor Freight and it came in at 90 cents per battery average. So the Performax battery is sold by a home center uh, in my local area called Menards, and that battery came in at an average cost of 72 cents per battery. The Great Value battery is sold by Walmart, and unfortunately they were sold out of D-sized batteries, but I took the price off the website and the great value batteries came in at an average cost of 66 cents per battery. And the last battery we're gonna talk about is the HDX brand battery, which is sold by Home Depot. Now, if you look at the average cost, it's 69 cents per battery unit on an average, which is actually a little higher than great value. And what throws that off is the D cell batteries. If you really look at it, the AA and the AAA batteries, which are actually the more popular uh, batteries sold today, uh, they are actually cheaper than the great value batteries. So you could call this uh, an even race, I guess, between the great value and the HDX batteries. Uh, if you want to just look at double A's and triple A's, the HDX are far cheaper. 
Interestingly enough, all of the batteries with the exception of two brands claim to have a specific shelf life guarantee. Duracell, as you can see uh, here, has got a 12 year in storage guarantee. They guarantee the batteries to be good for 12 years sitting on the shelf. All the rest of the batteries, with the exception of two brands, said they've got no less than a 10 year shelf life guarantee. Uh, some of the brands say they will last as long as the name brands, satisfaction guaranteed, all of these things to make their batteries sound like they're the cat's meow. But uh, we'll, we'll put that to a test to the point, but there's just simply no way that I can test uh, storage life for 10 years or 12 years on these batteries to see if that's actually legitimate. So that's just a test that we're going to have to forego and trust that they are not doing false advertising. Uh, the Edge batteries, the Thunderbolt Edge uh, from Harbor Freight, as well as the Generate batteries from Dollar General, none of them had a shelf life guarantee. But what was interesting is that the uh, Dollar General batteries had a use by date of year 2027. So interesting that they say that those batteries have to have a use by date on them. Also very interesting, they have a 100% satisfaction guarantee and they give you a phone number so that if you're not 100% satisfied with the quality of their battery, call this number and we will try to make you 100% satisfied. All right, so we've got the breakdown done and we have found out that the HDX or the Home Depot store brand batteries are the least expensive, strictly on a monetary point, and that the Duracells are the most expensive, strictly on a monetary point, without doing any longevity testing. Now, what have I got? I've got three flashlights, but we're gonna use those same three lights to test all 10 batteries. I have a stopwatch, we're gonna time-lapse record, uh, through and see how long it takes to use up all of these batteries and we'll just basically see which one lasts the longest. So let's get right into it. All right, so a couple of things here before we get into the actual testing. Uh, two things. The very first test, it took me a hot minute to uh, figure out my setup, so I apologize for that, but I did capture the data. Uh, all the rest of them are actually pretty good. The, uh, the second part is, is that the D-cell batteries last for freaking ever and after the very first test i found out i wasn't going to be able to actually run the battery until it went completely dead the other thing uh the flashlight i was using for the triple a's uh, was an led light and there again leds are very very stingy on power and that light would have burned for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours so really the only light that ever did completely use up the batteries was the flashlight using double A's. That was because it was an incandescent bulb and it was the most power hungry and that's, that's the one that I always ran out first. So all of these times are regarding the double A battery flashlight, which is the one that's usually always in the middle. All right, so the first battery we're gonna go over here is the, uh, the Duracell battery. I loaded up all the flashlights. Uh, all the flashlights seemed to burn fairly equally. And then the uh, AA flashlight finally burned out its light at five hours and 15 minutes, which when I did the test, didn't seem like it was too terrible bad. The next one we tested was the Energizer. Uh, the Energizer uh, actually lasted a little bit longer. It again, ran all the lights fairly consistently as the dirt from the Duracell and the uh, the AA battery, finally the light went out at about five hours and 21 minutes. So it lasted just a little bit longer than the Duracell. So the next battery that we tested was the EverReady Gold. Uh, the EverReady Gold actually did far better than I expected it to. It lasted uh, six hours and eight minutes before the AA battery flashlight finally uh, flickered out and died. I was fairly impressed by that. It lasted far longer than I expected it to. So the next battery we tested was the Rayovac High Energy battery. Again, this battery lasted far longer than I expected it to. Uh, it's always been the perception that Rayovac just wasn't that great of a quality battery, uh, but it took five hours and 52 minutes before the AA battery flashlight finally dimmed and flickered out of service. So it was far better than I expected to with that battery as well. 
And the next battery we tested was the Up and Up, which is the uh, Target brand battery. This was the first of the store brands that we've tested. Uh, again, this battery, you know, it held right in there with the name brands and all the other batteries that we've tested up to this point. It took a solid five hours and 37 minutes before the AA battery flashlight uh, finally went out of service. So that was fairly impressive for a fairly inexpensive battery. And the next battery that we tested was the Generate, which is the Dollar General battery that I picked up. Uh, I had a little snafu with this one. I actually burned out the light on the flashlight, so I had to order another flashlight bulb uh, because apparently the stores don't carry any of them. But when I finally got the bulb in the, uh, in the mail, uh, I had to retest the AA flashlight battery. And that, that battery actually lasted, again, far longer than I expected to. However, it didn't stack up very well against uh, the previous batteries. At 5 hours and 10 minutes, the Generate battery finally decided to uh, flicker out and end its life. But it did last longer than I expected to. And it wasn't that far off the mark. And to be quite honest with you, it was uh, only five minutes off from the Duracell battery. Next, we're into the uh, Harbor Freight, the Thunderbolt Edge batteries. Uh, this was actually a bit of a mic drop for me. I really wasn't expecting to get this kind of uh, duration out of this battery. But at six hours and four minutes uh, is when that battery decided to finally give up in the AA flashlight and end its service life, which was actually pretty impressive. That was so far the second best test. So after seeing what the Harbor Freight battery did going into the Walmart battery, I might have been a little bit foolishly optimistic on this, uh, expecting far better than what it actually did. It was actually a bit of a disappointment. At 5 hours and 19 minutes, the, uh, the Walmart battery finally decided to give it up, which was you know, pretty anticlimactic compared to what the Thunderbolt battery did from Harbor Freight. And next we're into the uh, Performax battery. Performax is a store brand battery for Menards Lumberyards, which is a lumberyard uh, kind of locally up here in the Midwest. It's kind of like your Home Depot, just on a smaller scale. But at any rate, uh, this battery was actually a, quite a disappointment. It did not last nearly as long as I thought to. Uh, the AA battery flashlight finally decided to give it up at 4 hours and 52 minutes, so... Those batteries didn't even make it five hours before the uh, flashlight decided to go out. And here we're finally into our last battery set, which is the HDX brand battery. Uh, this is the store brand battery from the Big Orange Store, Home Depot. Uh, didn't know what to expect with this battery when I got them all plugged in. Uh, this was the least expensive battery in the grouping. And so once the test got going and I got it all finished up and completed, came back and uh, reviewed the video, uh, the AA battery flashlight went out at a whopping 6 hours and 17 minutes. So that battery actually performed very, very well. Uh, and considering the fact that it was the least expensive battery in the lineup, I was very impressed with it. All right, now I understand that this isn't the most perfectly scientific experiment, but it should give you a relatively decent gauge on how these batteries lasted. Uh, out of sheer time, I just couldn't possibly commit the time to do a more thorough investigation of how long these batteries should last. But I think this is a pretty fair assumption or pretty fair assessment, if you will, of, of what you can expect from some of these battery brands. And so at the end of the day, how did these batteries stack up as far as longevity? We've already talked about the pricing on them. How long did they last? Who took first and who took last place? Well, let's find that out right now. So in 10th place was the Performax battery at 4 hours and 52 minutes. 9th place was the Generate battery at 5 hours and 10 minutes. 8th place was the Duracell battery at 5 hours and 15 minutes. Seventh place was the Great Value battery at 5 hours and 19 minutes. Sixth place was the Energizer Max battery at 5 hours and 21 minutes. Fifth place was the Up and Up Target brand battery at 5 hours and 37 minutes. Fourth place was the Rayovac High Energy battery at 5 hours and 52 minutes. Third place is the Thunderbolt Edge which came in at 6 hours and 4 minutes. 
Second place was the Ever Ready Gold, which came in at six hours and eight minutes. And in first place, with a total time of six hours and 17 minutes, was the HDX battery from Home Depot, which also incidentally happens to be the least expensive battery in the lineup. All right, so what did we learn today? Well, here's what I learned. I learned a few things actually over the course of the past few days. One, doing a test like this is a huge time suck and it's a huge investment in time. I love doing it. I had a lot of fun doing it and I learned a lot while I was doing it, but it did take a whole bunch of time to make and produce and edit. So I would really appreciate it if you go down and hit that like and subscribe button just to help the channel out. Believe it or not, it really does make a difference on how well the channel performs and it helps me do things like go out and buy $200 worth of batteries so I can test them for you and give you these kind of results. Two, the second thing I learned was expensive doesn't necessarily mean better, at least as far as the concept of duration of life in a battery. Now, completely un understood, I do not have the time or the capability to test batteries for 10 years. It's impossible. I cannot do it. It's, it's there's just no way I can test shelf life. But I can do a dead general test on how long they last. And I'll admit, I have typically in the past been a very huge fan of buying either Duracell or Energizer batteries. And I'm gonna call them out on the carpet because I was under the presumption that because they were more expensive batteries, they would probably last longer. I know in the automotive industry, when it comes to car batteries, nine times out of 10, you generally get what you pay for. If you buy a cheap battery, that's what you're gonna get. If you buy a more expensive battery, you are going to get a better quality battery. That's in the automotive industry. Apparently in the consumer industry, with batteries that you need to run your remote controls and your flashlights and your electronics and those kind of things, uh, that's kind of that's kind of not the case here. At least that's what I'm finding out. The cheapest battery in the lineup, which was the HDX brand battery, lasted longer than any other battery we had out here. And the Duracell battery actually was only the, the third worst battery. There were only two batteries that were worse than it. And the Energizer wasn't much, much above that. They were all within that five and a half hour to five hour and 17 minute range. But the HDX battery gave you a full extra hour of runtime. So do you have to spend a whole bunch of money on the most expensive batteries to run remote controls and electronics? No, I don't think you do. I am going to be buying, uh, I've, I've convinced myself, I'm gonna be buying HDX batteries from Home Depot from now on to run things like my trail cameras and for batteries in my remotes and things like that because they're a fraction of the cost and I do mean a fraction of the cost. You can get them in bulk easily enough they have a 10 year guarantee on them for shelf life. So even, I, I guess I have enough batteries here. There's a possibility I might have enough batteries here for the next 15 years of my life, but I doubt it. That all being said, I, I don't see the need to go out and buy the most expensive battery anymore. And I'm not gonna be shying away from a less expensive battery that I might find in a gas station or a location like that when I need batteries. I'm, I'm not gonna be quite so scared to buy them. So there it is, there's the battery test. I hope it was useful for you. I hope you found it mildly entertaining and I hope you got some good information out of this. Like I said, it was a lot of work to do, but it was a lot of fun and it helped me at least to instill some confidence in the fact that I don't have to go out and spend huge amounts of money on batteries because everything we run these days is run on batteries and if it's not rechargeable, you're buying them. So, and. It, it just gives me a little bit of peace of mind in knowing that I can go buy a less expensive battery and it's probably gonna last just fine. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. This video is already long enough. Now I really do appreciate all of my subscribers and I appreciate everybody who watches these videos. Hit me in the comments if you think I did something wrong or if you think I screwed up really bad, let me know. I, I would sure appreciate uh, some constructive criticism. I would expect nothing less. Since I've been doing this YouTube thing, I've found that there is really no shortage of trolls but that's all right, it's fun. And as long as it's respectful and courteous and playful and banter, I don't really have a problem with it and I'm not afraid of constructive criticism. This is Ed with Jack of All Trades. As always, thank you for stopping by. Thank you to all my watchers, longtime subscribers, and we will see you on the next video.